March 10, Tuesday of the second week of Lent. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seats on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on the people's shoulders. But they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honors in the synagogue, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have bought one t-shirt, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord They do not practice. We know ourselves. We humbly admit that we often fail to practice what we preach. Our actions and conduct are not in harmony with our professed beliefs and statements. We rather easily forgive ourselves, admitting our human limitations, yet we are slow to make allowances for others' inconsistencies between their words and deeds. Jesus attacks such religious hypocrisy in the gospel. What Jesus asked of his contemporaries, he also requires of us, true religion, serving God and neighbor. Saint Paul VI has stated a fact of life. Modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if he listens to teachers, it is because they are witnesses. Evangeli no Chandi, number 41. St. Paul II echoes this thought, saying, People today put more trust in witnesses than in teachers, in experience than in teaching, and in life and action than in theories. Redemptoris Misho, number 42. And we recall the traditional proverb, actions speak louder than words. How can I be renewed during Lent to better practice the faith I profess? What are some inconsistencies that I can rectify with the help of God's grace? <music>